Welcome back. Boy, do we have a treat for you. We are so happy to welcome to our show for the very first time, Buddy the Sage Apple. We're so happy to see you, Buddy. Don't you just want to squeeze him? You just want to squeeze him. It is great to be here. Now, you are a part of the Sage Fruit family from Yakima Valley, uh, Washington. Yes. We're so excited. Tell us a little about your, your Sage family. Yes, we, uh, we own hundreds and hundreds of acres in Washington. And uh, we grow apples, cherries, pears, uh, all sorts of different fruits, uh, some soft fruit also. Uh, this is a really great time of year for us. This is about a month after the harvest starts. And here, speaking of harvest. Oh, thank I'd like you. I'll give you uh, my, one of my Aunt Ambrosia apples. <gasps> oh, that looks uh, so she's, uh, she's, really, she's really been good to the family. We, we sell a lot of Ambrosia apples and uh, they're really tasty. Oh, thank you, buddy. Hey, you, you're, we're really happy you're here. What brings you to town? Well, I, this time of year, I like to come visit friends that, that, uh, that have our apples in their stores. Uh, Price Cutter has been a great friend of ours for many years. And uh, so this time of year, I like to come visit to, uh, to see them, uh, to see Mark, the director, and all of the fine folks at the stores that are putting our apples out to we, so we, we love Mark. Mark. Yes, we Mark do. is he our best friend. He does a great job. Yeah. He brings all kinds uh, of speaking stuff. Speaking of him, I'm going to have to stop here just for okay. a second. And his grandson is having a birthday today. Oh. Uh, he's five years old. His name is Forrest Berry, and he lives in Oklahoma. So oh. I just want to give a shout out to him. Hey, Forrest. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday, Forrest. That's awesome. Oh. Hey, run, Forrest, run. Got to say it. Got to say it. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, I'm curious, buddy, do you have any brothers and sisters? Uh thousands and thousands. My family tree is a high density fruit tree that it produces twice, four times as much fruit as the old fashioned trees did. So I've got, I've got family and on family, on family, on family. Oh, wow. So does that include aunts, uncles, and cousins? Yes. Uh, oh. oh, who knew? I've got, well, I've got my, one of my favorites is my Granny Smith. Oh. Got, <laughs> we've got a, <laughs> We've got Ambrosia and Ambrosia that you've got there. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Gala, and there's we've got an Uncle Cheeky now. We got him from New Zealand. Uh, he's he's a really funny kind of uncle. He's always the life of the party. He cheeky. sounds like it. Cheeky. And then we've got cheeky. Sonia, and then there's uh, cousins Cosmic Crisp and Sunrise Magic. They're kind of as you as you can tell by their names. They're kind of laid back, if you know what I mean. Oh. Uh. Man, you you must have really good family reunions. Yeah, Just so we do. We do. I'm yeah. curious too, buddy. You look beautiful. You look so you young do, and yeah. vibrant. Yeah. Well, thank How you. old are you? Oh, Jeremy. What? what? You ask him his age. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. How it's dare okay. I? It's okay. We get that all the time. I'm oh, okay. actually only about a month old right now. Oh no wonder you look so fresh. <laughs> so, no wonder. <laughs> so because of modern science, uh, they put us in controlled atmosphere rooms, oh. and apples actually these days can, instead of just being around for a month or two, they can last up to a year uh, in that controlled atmosphere storage. They take the oxygen and the nitrogen and mm. they kind of mix it differently and it makes us last a lot longer and taste better all through the process. I wish we had a controlled I'm, atmosphere to live in. Wouldn't that, that make nice? us look yeah. a month old? <laughs> <laughs> hey buddy, where do you live? Uh, I'm originally from Washington, uh, but during my lifespan I could end up anywhere. Uh, oh, he, he's a traveler. Never you, know. Yeah, I, that Washington apples are mm -hmm. shipped all mm -hmm. over the world. We're popular on all seven continents. That's yeah. amazing. Do you ever leave you know, the state, the country? Uh, the country? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're overseas. We're shipped to Japan. We're, we go everywhere. Sage has a lot of partners around the world, and their apples are in just about any country you go in. Why do you think you're so popular? Well, besides being adorable. <laughs> and you are. You are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's that old saying, an apple a day. Well, an apple a day is full of vitamins and antioxidants. It's good for you. It makes a great snack. It's perfect lunchbox, uh, great for kids and adults alike. And all that added together keeps the doctor away. Ah, uh, very good. It. Yeah. It's very true. And these are yeah, gorgeous. They are. So I'm curious, when you're not working, is there some place like you would just love to go visit? Oh, I'd, I'd love to go to the Big Apple. I, mean, I, think, <laughs> I think I'd probably fit in there since I am a Big Apple. Probably go to Central <laughs> Park, sit, maybe sip a, a, an Apple Teeny, you know, kind of. 
Why wouldn't you? Do you have an Apple computer? I'm sorry, that wasn't. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do, and they're, they're one of the best. <laughs> oh, who was your hero growing up? Uh, well, while we're blossoming, uh, we always we, they they give us courses in how to be juicy, the right flavor, the colors, and all that. But they also teach us a little history. And Johnny Appleseed is one of my favorite guys. He's kind of a he's kind of the evangelist of apples for uh, <laughs> the country that. here, and I, I've just always admired him. I can see why. I can see why. He's a great character. Yeah. Okay, now, you know, we're going to go a little old school because it's a very famous question that lots yeah. of famous interviewers ask. Mm -hmm. When you get to heaven, what do you want God to say to you? Well, you know, actually, I've interviewed with, with uh, James Lipton before, and that's, I've answered this a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So, the, one of the, I'd probably jump in before he said anything to me <laughs> because we're, well, us apples get a bad rap from the, from the, a lot of people thinking that the tree on the, or the fruit on the tree that was in the beginning were apples. Oh, oh. oh in the Garden of Eden, and, yes. Yes, and it actually, I, I, they weren't. It was probably, it was probably a pomegranate. I oh. never really <laughs> trusted them, and they're kind of seedy. Anyway. Oh. Well, you're a good guy. We know where all the rotten apples are going to go, though. Yeah, anyway, absolutely. If, if I wanted him to ask me, if I wanted him to say something, I just wanted him to tell me that I was a big part of the big picture and that... Mm -hmm. uh, that helping the earth and the folks here live a happy, healthy life is what we need to do. Thank you for what you do. Man, we learned a lot today. We learned a lot, buddy. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank You're welcome you, back anytime, my friend. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Oh, oh gosh. That was I've fun. enjoyed it. We've enjoyed you, we sir. Have. And now we're going to take a big bite out of you. There we go. <laughs> All right. Mm. We'll be back right after this. Juicy. That's You're juicy. Good. That's really good, actually. Really good. That's yeah, really good. Ambrosia. Oh, Ambrosia.